Hello, my beautiful earth signs, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Welcome to your general reading. This is the Dream Clairvoyant, or welcome to your element reading. Um, this is the Dream Clairvoyant. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I do hope you're doing well. So like I said, this reading is for people who have um, earth in their placement. So if you have Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo in your sun, moon, Venus, or rising, this message may resonate with you. But I do ask always use discernment to take what resonates and leave what does not. And even after receiving this message, I do ask that you go into prayer and meditation to receive divine guidance and divine confirmation. So let's get started. In this deck, we're going to be using the Kipper deck along with the classic Rider Tarot deck. So Earth Signs, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, message, message for the element Earth. Ooh, Earth Sign, you have great fortune. Good, good, good. And you have lovers. Ooh, all right. Clarify great fortune. Clarify great fortune. Clarify great fortune. I feel like you have blessings coming in and great abundance. Clarify great fortune. Yeah, your inheritance. Your you're getting access to your inheritance, okay? Um, blessings are flowing in for you. This is what you deserve. The justice talks about justice, karmic justice, balance, fairness being uh, being restored. You're getting something that you deserve, okay? I feel like you did something and it unlocked blessings for you. Oh my gosh, Ace of Cups, through the helping hands of the Most High, you're getting a divine grant, a divine opportunity of a new beginning. Um, the Ace of Cups is all about the new, new love, new new jobs, new faces, new lovers, uh, or new love, new opportunities, new beginnings. It's the new. And this is something, you see how the cup is overflowing? So this is something that's really going to fulfill your needs, your emotional needs. It's going to make you very, very happy and satisfied. Wow. I feel like... I feel like you're just going to be overwhelmed by this blessing that's coming in if it hasn't already. What was that? Yeah, it was the Queen of Pentacles. I felt like it wanted to come out because it did like a twist. <laughs> but the Queen of Pentacles, everything she touches turns to gold. And remember that the cards represents energies that any gender can embody. So yes, you can be a male and still carry this feminine energy of a Queen of Pentacles. We all carry both masculine and feminine energies anyways. But the Queen of Pentacles is known to be loyal and committed. She carries that big pentacle in her hand. That's the big reward. That's the big blessing that everyone wants. Queen of Pentacles is someone who lives a high quality life because she is someone who's very... Um, she's someone who's very valuable. She's someone who's very hardworking. Um, sorry, you guys. Uh, she's someone who's very valuable, very hardworking, and so she's very successful due to her hard work. Um, even on the back of the deck, you have the Page of Pentacles. So this is some sort of uh, page, page of Pentacles. Pages represents communication. I feel like this is an offer, an offer that's going to bring you great prosperity. Like this could even be an offer of an offer that's going to bring you stability and security. Okay, it could literally be a financial offer because I know the Page of Pentacles. It's really good um, when it comes to like tangible matters, earthly matters like money um I, I it's almost like someone here has really hit the jackpot you know and I do believe that uh we've we've hit we've 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 come into an era where earth signs are really going to flourish um or should I say it's like a I don't know how to explain it because I'm not too knowledgeable about astrology but i feel like we've we've stepped into an an um astrological era where earth placements man the universe is really going to do a lot for them so 
So tell us more about great fortune. Let's tell us more about great fortune. Tell us more about great fortune. Tell us more about great fortune. I want to shuffle better. Clarify great fortune. Yeah, there's communication here. Another page, okay? Page of Wands. This is typically like a good idea. So for those of you where you're very creative and you've gotten an idea, I'm telling you, this is the time for you to really bring your ideas to life. Don't just think about it, but take action on it and manifest it, make it happen. Um, so the Page of Wands, it could also represent good news that brings passion and optimism. Clarify this Page of Wands, Queen of Cups. Yeah, I almost feel like someone on the back, Six of Wands, victory. Queen of Cups is very loving. This is like a sweetheart, very genuine, very kind, very compassionate, you know, emotionally balanced, someone who you can really trust and confide in. They always have good intentions for people. Um, someone is seeing you, someone is seeing you as a queen of cups. Oh, wow. Yeah. Who have you impressed earth signs? You've impressed someone. I feel like someone has gotten a good idea when it comes to you and they are going to present a very rewarding offer to you. And I feel like it's because of your good deeds, your good heart. The Queen of Cups is someone who's really, really protected. This And it's because of their, their love and light. The more love you have inside of you, the more you're pure and loving, the more favor God has for you and the more the universe will do things in your favor because you're living your life righteously and you're not causing any injustice or imbalance. And so the universe will thank you for that and, and favor you for that. Um, when you are of light and love and purity, you do have this um, spiritual protection around you and it's very hard for people to uh, cause an injustice for you. Like they may hurt your feelings, but it's hard for people like this where they're so pure spirited and kind. They're truly, truly blessed and highly favored and divinely protected. So to be a queen of cups, it is a, it is a special thing to be a, to be a queen of cups or even a king of cups. Those are very loving people. But someone, your good deeds has made someone has recognized you because of your good deeds uh earth signs it's something that you did that really made you look it it, it shined a light on your character and someone's looking at you as someone someone sees you as someone who's very genuine very kind very loving and very sincere and it's because of your good deeds your good deeds has highlighted a very good character trait that you have so someone has gotten an idea that they want to propose to you they want to offer you something and it's because of your kind nature this person here they want to share something with you with the six of pentacles the six of pentacles it represents equal give and take reciprocity um it could even represent shared wealth or presenting a gift to someone investing in someone but i feel like it's shared wealth someone has something and they want to share it with you and it's it's going to increase your prosperity It's going to increase your, your prosperity with the Six of Pentacles, but I almost feel like this person's doing this to, to, to say thank you. It's like, thank you for your good work. Thank you for your good deeds. I want to share, share this with you. Um, so it's like you're being compensated for your good deeds. The Sun card is here. Happiness, fulfillment, growth, expansion, um, You've hit the jackpot with something here. You've hit the jackpot. Um, fortune is coming in and it's because of your good deeds. It's because of your good heart. It's because of your sincerity. 
Someone is seeing you with the sun card here. Someone is seeing you in such a positive light. I feel like you've really, you've, what's that word? It's like you've made someone to have faith in humanity. Um, and I always see like a king of cups, queen of cups as humanitarians because they're so sincere to people, even people who, who they don't know. They have good intentions. They see the good in people. But I feel like you've restored faith um, in humanity for someone. You've really made someone happy and, and hopeful because of a good deed that you did. Look at this, Ace of Wands. Ace of Wands is a new beginning, specifically a passionate new beginning. You've made someone very excited to work with you. And this person wants to reward you. They want to say, they want to say thank you. But it's not just going to be out of words. They're going to present something to you and offer. Wow. On the back of the deck, King of Swords. King of Swords is someone who is of law and order. Your hard work did not go unnoticed. Your good deeds, your sincerity, and your kind heart, it did not go unnoticed. It was recognized. And now you're about to be compensated. Okay? Um, and I think we picked up on this as well in, a, in the most recent Capricorn reading. So if you have Capricorn in your chart, all of the earth elements, they're being compensated. Um, but the King of Swords, you know, this is someone who's all about justice, law and order. They have a very strong moral compass. This is someone of honesty and integrity. And I feel like this is you. I feel like you did something um, to bring in law and order. You did something out of the goodness of your heart. You did. When I tell you, it's like the universe is so proud of you. When you live a good, a good, lawful, righteous life, God will always favor you. And his universe will always sort of cater to you. The, the universe, his universe will always have your back, sort of. You know, it's like you have great fortune on your side. Um, because the, the universe loves balance. The universe hates imbalance. So for us who live in, in this universe, when we live a balanced life and we do right by people and we don't cause an imbalance or an injustice, we are in a way helping the universe maintain balance and justice. Clarify the world. So the world could represent completion cycles ending but also new beginnings starting it could also represent you you getting desirable outcomes okay there's some sort of positive result yeah wow i feel like you're about to step into the next phase of your life and as a reader that's how i see the world card all the time i always see it as someone who's like on the borderline of leaving a past behind and stepping into a new beginning. It's like they're right on, they're on that borderline of the past and the future. And I feel like there is an offer, again, the pentacle. And you guys are earth signs, okay? Um, so you do master the material realm. Um, so with the Knight of Pentacles here, uh, there's, you're about to step into a new beginning. And I feel like there's a lot of material, look, Ace of Pentacles. I feel like there's going to be a lot of material abundance around you. Lots of material, materialistic things around you. And it's your reward. Like you're getting money, you're getting luxury, you're getting high quality things. And that's your blessing. That's your reward. Because abundance comes in all forms. You're getting an ace of cups where you're getting the kind of abundance that's going to make you happy and emotionally fulfilled, right? And taken care of. But you're also getting an ace of pentacles where 
your material needs are also going to be fulfilled. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles is a hard worker, very patient and diligent worker. Um, clarify the Knight of Pentacles. Two of Wands. I feel like this is the chariot, victory, determination, forward movement. Clarify this Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, Knight of Swords. Who is this Knight of Pentacles? Dapple. Five of Pentacles. Who is this Knight of Pentacles? Who is this knight? Of, yeah, King of Pentacles. I feel like this is the, the person that's coming in to give you an offer. Um, let me tell you about this person. They've had a big shakeup in their life. Okay? I feel like you... You brought justice to this person. It's almost like you revealed something to them. You called something out, you raised a red flag, you reported something, you made a complaint about something, or you shared something that that you that you discovered. You like the tower, it's a big reveal. It's secrets coming out, something that was kept in the dark coming to light, people being exposed. You caused a tower moment in this person's life, but I feel like it's a good tower moment because I feel like there was an injustice happening right under their nose and they didn't know they didn't see it you called out an injustice you you uncovered an in, an injustice and someone wants to say thank you someone wants to reward you someone wants to like compensate you in a way they have a gift this was so necessary for you to bring a, it was necessary for you to bring this to their attention whatever this injustice was you brought justice to it you called it out and you helped this person right because every time an injustice you know goes uncovered it's like the enemy's getting away with doing something bad bad people getting away with doing bad things right um, but you put in some sort of law and order and you're being compensated compensated for that. The person who wants to wants to say thank you, they have a reward that they want to give gift you. They are a king of pentacles. I strongly believe that you know you came out as a queen of pentacles. They are a king of pentacles. Maybe they, they are an earth sign or they have some sort of strong earth placement in their birth chart. But I feel like this is someone who has money. I feel like this is someone who's very successful and hardworking. Maybe some sort of business owner, entrepreneur, boss-like is the energy that I'm getting here. And they live a very comfortable life, a very luxurious life. They are very financially abundant. And they want to share their wealth with you. Six of Pentacles. <clears throat> they believe that you deserve it. This person, the devil and the five of pentacles, the devil, it could represent strong desires, obsessions, addictions, or just someone who's in a very low state, a low vibration. And I feel like it's because you brought something to their attention and it, and it was the injustice. When you brought that to their attention, they dug and they discovered more. And it really, it bothered this person clearly because the five of pentacles is when you're like in a low state of mind. It's like when you're in, in this feeling left out in the cold, you know, in a state of depression, there's a lot of sorrow. Um, and I feel like with the devil card here, this could be someone who finds it hard letting go of things like an injustice like this they're probably obsessing over it because the devil when you embody the devil energy it does have an obsession to it or maybe they're just a capricorn like the devil does represent capricorns um clarify the devil clarify the devil clarify the devil the 
Hierophant. I feel like this person is, because the Hierophant is a Taurus, I feel like this person does have strong earth, like Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo in their chart, just like you, earth signs, who are watching this. Or maybe this is you, someone brought someone brought an injustice to your attention and you want to reward them okay you can switch the roles however way you resonate with this message um this is someone you know why they're coming out as the devil in the higher font if they don't have strong capricorn in their charts this is someone who people look up to this is someone who has some sort of high ranking this is someone who has a lot of control and influence over people they're in some sort of position of power and authority same with the hierophant do you see how these two people are chained to the devil and same thing here with the hierophant they're not chained but they're looking up these two people are looking up to to this uh pope right it's the same this is someone where they what they say goes so whoever was causing an injustice and was hiding it from this person, I'm pretty sure they got fired, they got arrested, broken up with. Like, I feel like they were dealt with extensively because this is someone who has a lot of influence. This is an influential person. Bingo. Thank you, Spirit. And that's exactly who the Hierophant is. The Hierophant, these are... Uh, it could be a religious figure or a leader, an advisor, a counselor. It's like someone who people look up to, to seek advice and counseling. These are like very influential people within the community. So I really feel like someone messed up here. I feel like you hit the jackpot. You brought justice for someone who is very influential. You you did something here. You you called out an injustice. You filed a report, a complaint. You told someone something. You helped someone discover something here that was being hidden from them. And they're going to reward you. Yeah, this person has a lot of influence. Um, clarify the Knight of Swords. So the Knight of Swords, very fast moving. This is like a swift action taker. This is someone who's all about seizing opportunities. This is you. Knight of Swords, this is your energy that I'm picking up. And this just confirms it because the Queen of Swords is clever, intelligent, and most importantly, discerning. This is a very straightforward, no-nonsense person, male or female. You were able to really call something out or call someone out. You discerned. You knew that someone was BSing. You knew that someone or people were causing an injustice. You could see right through the nonsense. You could see right through the deception because you're clever and discerning. When this person presents the offer to you, you're going to get it. You're going to you're going to seize that opportunity because look, the stars on the back of the deck, you guys. The star is wish fulfillment. Your wishes come true. You've hit the jackpot. The star is hope. It is faith. It is prayers being answered, wishes being granted. You're the star. Your star shines brighter. It's bigger and brighter than the other stars. You have been blessed. You have hit the jackpot. You went, you showed up at the right time, the right place, you encountered the right people, and you did something at the right timing, and it caught a very powerful and influential person's attention, and you're being compensated, you're being rewarded. You showed up at the right time and place to bring justice, to instill law and order. Clarify this two of wands. You have the queen of wands, you have the magician, and you have the four of cups. You're about to be, oh my gosh, earth signs. Oh my goodness. The two of wands is, a, is an influential person. 
Do you see how this, this man is standing? It's almost like it's his palace or kingdom or something. He's standing up high and he's overlooking everything, right? Because he's in a, he's in a place of high power and high position. And he's literally carrying the world in his hand. That's a big statement to make. For someone to say, for someone to say that they have the world in their hand, that means that they have a lot of power, control, and influence. And the two wands, they have, they're in this position where they get to make decisions and choose which path to go on. The Queen of Wands is here. Queen of Wands, again, sitting on her throne. The Queen of Wands is someone who's victorious, a warrior, ambitious, a boss, you know, feisty, sassy, confident. The Magician, someone who's very hardworking. When the Magician card comes out, it means that you make things happen. You get to work. You have an idea, but you don't just sit on it. You take action, you produce it, you bring it to life. You utilize your tools, your resources, your gifts, your skills, your talents to make things happen. But let me tell you, this Four of Cups, the Four of Cups, it could represent rejection, unfulfillment, feeling left out in the cold. You're going to be in a place of such high power and position that I feel like not just anyone can come around you. I actually want us to look more into this. You're about to be saying no to some people. Clarify the Four of Cups. Clarify the Four of Cups. It's almost like you're about to be in this place of power and position where not everyone can reach you. Ten of Wands, Six of Cups is here, Reunions. These are the people who are going to want you to choose them or they're going to want to reconcile and reunite with you, but they're going to be far away from you. They will not have access to you. Clarify the Four of Cups. You even have the Ten of Wands, Burden, Stress, probably them regretting for how they treated you. Clarify the Four of Cups. You're really going to be assertive and dominant and you're going to be saying a lot of no's. You're going to be like, no, 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 no. Clarify the Four of Cups. Yeah. You're going to be in a place where you'll always have opportunities and some of them you'll decline. You'll always have offers and some of them you'll, you'll decline. And you're the Queen of Swords. You're very clever, intelligent, and discerning. So I'm sure you'll have good reasons as to why you'll be declining certain people's offers. But the Three of Pentacles is a collaboration. You will have so many people... Uh, especially from your past with that Six of Cups. Six of Cups is all about the past, reminiscing about the past, wanting to reunite, reconcile with the past, right? You're going to have so many people wanting to be a part of your world and it's because of your stance. It's because of your status, bingo. You're about to become, if not already, you're about to become someone of high status and honestly, high class. The thing is, you came out as a queen of pentacles. Queen of pentacles is luxurious, successful, powerful, but humble. So I feel like that's why you were selected. That's why you're being selected for this high status, this high power and high position is because you're not going to abuse it. You're not going to look down on people. Whoever's giving you this, this opportunity, this rewarding offer, they're giving it to you because they see you as the queen of cups. They see you as someone who is genuine, sincere, maybe even a humanitarian. You really, truly care for people. So they know that you're not going to abuse this power, even though you're going to be in high status, high class, high position, you're going to handle the fame and fortune rightfully, okay? And you're going to live righteously. That's why you were selected for this reward. That's why God is giving you this blessing. That's why God is shining a light on you and, and getting this person to bring you the blessing. Sometimes God will get people to bring you the blessing. God will choose people to bring you the opportunities to select you for, for a certain position. Your characteristics is leading you, your genuine, sincere characteristics is leading you to a place of high power and position, but it's because you can handle it and you won't abuse it. 
there will be many people within the community, especially those from your past who will want to collaborate with you. Three of Pentacles. Yeah, they will want to collaborate, collaborate with you. They'll want to work with you, but they're going to feel left out in the cold. They're going to feel, I feel like the Ten of Wands is them feeling burdened by the past, something that they did to you in the past, because they will know that it's because of what they said or did to you in the past that is causing you to reject them. The past will weigh on their shoulder. The Ten of Wands is like feeling the whole weight of the world on your shoulder. And that's when everything's going to hit them, that they really missed out on a, on a, amazing person like you they really sabotaged an opportunity with you because of their past behavior actions and decisions towards you that's what's going to hit this person that they that there are consequences to their actions that that there are consequences for what they did to you it's finally going to hit them that you are not a nobody that you are a somebody that you are everything in the eyes of God, that you are special, that you are someone's child, you are God's child. And the reason why I'm, why I'm emphasizing this, you see how they're going to feel so burdened, so stressed out, carrying past baggage is because I feel like many of you were mistreated in the past and people didn't care. They mistreated you and they walked away as if they didn't do anything wrong. They had no care in the world for what they did to you because they felt like you were nobody. They felt like they could get away with it. They felt like there, there would be no punishment, no consequences. When God redeems you, when God vindicates you, when God picks you up and lifts you up, and calls you into his kingdom and calls you his child. Let me tell you, these people, they're gonna see it and they're gonna say, oh my goodness, I did that to someone. I didn't just mistreat a nobody. I Because when these people were doing this to you, they did all of those, those ill treatments, those mistreatments. They did all of those things to you, not knowing who they were doing it to. They didn't know that they were doing this to someone who's been chosen that someone who's been marked by God that someone who has been redeemed by God they didn't know that they were doing this to a child of God they did all of those things not knowing who they were doing it to and now they're about to find out and that's when the whole weight and pressure of what they did to you, it's going to come on to them and it's going to be hard for them to move on. The Ten of Wands, they're going to carry that regret for the rest of the, their life because they're going to find out, oh my gosh, I did this to such a powerful, anointed person. It's going to hit them. And it shows that these are people who are superficial. They are judgmental people because it doesn't matter what status a person holds treat everyone equally treat everyone with with dignity and respect everyone has worth everyone has value these are superficial people where they don't care who they abuse unless you are someone someone big you know someone with nice nice clothes nice cars and this and that and that and that the enemy targeted you they didn't know who you are and i feel like that's what it was meant that's how it was meant to be divinely orchestrated because at the end of the day you took no loss they did they sabotage an opportunity someone of such high status like you everything you touch turns to gold so whoever is connected to you they get blessed as well but i'm glad it's a good thing and that's why i tell people all the time god reveals to redeem when you're in a situation where you're being betrayed and people's true colors are being revealed to you, don't sit in disappointment. Don't go to bed with, 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 with disappointment in your heart. Feel what you need to feel, but move forward from it because God reveals to redeem. There are certain things God will, will reveal to you and it may be disappointing, but you still need to shout and celebrate and say, thank you, God, for showing me this person's true color. Thank you, God, for showing me that this person is not for me, that our relationship was not genuine or that our friendship was not genuine. Thank you, God, for showing me their true intentions. Thank you, God, for, for disrupting this, for, 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 for destroying it because it wasn't good for me. It wasn't something that aligned with what you wanted for me. As much as it hurt me and, and it broke my heart, thank you for bringing this reveal, this revelation to me. I would rather know who my enemies are than to keep my enemies so close to me. God reveals to redeem. 
It may be disappointing and heartbreaking in the moment, but you are being redeemed by him revealing to you who your enemies, your traitors, your haters are. And many times in life, when you find yourself in a situation where you're being mistreated, you're being betrayed, it's because God is about to take you from somewhere. He's elevating you. He's taking you to higher places. And there are certain people who can't go with you and it's them. These are the ones who can't go with you. And as you're being elevated, they're gonna try to come back and say sorry and reconcile with you. It's too late. They already revealed their true colors. They can't go where God is taking you, right? And bingo, that was the point. You took no losses, they did. Yeah, look at them, Knight of Cups, them trying to come in and, cause the Knight of Cups is someone who has this like friendly, you know, kind gesture, maybe even a romantic gesture. Knight of Cups is someone who wants to make amends. This is them coming in, trying to kind of clean the mess that they made, but they left you in it because they thought they could get away with it. They thought that they thought that they could do whatever to you, that you were that you were some sort of like th these people treated you like you were a no man's child, like you didn't have a home, like you didn't have a parent, like you like you were nobody when you're actually somebody. You're someone's child. You're God's child, and now they're they're realizing that, and the whole weight of the world. Is coming down on them. It's coming on their shoulders. They want to come in and make amends. It's too late. And you forgiving them, that's between you and God. Forgiveness is for you, not them. Forgiveness is a sentimental thing between you and God, not them. Yeah, they're going to come in the page of cups, right? They're going to come in. Now, these are the people, I feel like for some of you, you talked, you said some things. These are people who wouldn't even listen to you when you would speak. It's almost like they're, they were dismissive. They're like, oh, okay, okay, leave us, you know, go over there. They wouldn't listen to you. You were speaking truths. You were, you, you were, you were brilliant. You were brilliant. You were speaking truths. You were shining a light on, you know. They wouldn't listen. You had valuable insight. I just saw the, the high priestess. All, look, the high priestess on the back of the deck. The high priestess is all knowing, wise, sacred, spiritual, intuitive, highly connected to the most high. The high priestess sees things that other people can't see. She knows secrets that people don't know. This is a valuable person. But they overlooked you. Why did they overlook you? Because they didn't deserve you. Anyone who deserves you, God will give them sight to see your value. So those who didn't see your value, they were not giving the sight to see your value because they don't deserve you. Because if they were to see your value, they would use and abuse you. Anyone who does not see your value, they don't deserve you. God did not give them the sight to see you. And that's your protection. Some of you are so valuable that only the best of the best people can have access to you. People with true intentions, people who are genuine, people with, tr with, with true class, you know, people who, are, who, who have good morals, good character, not people who are superficial and judgmental, right? So remember that moving forward in life, someone who doesn't see your value, it's because God didn't give them the sight to see your value. They don't deserve you. They don't have a, a role in your life. They don't have a place in your life. Sometimes that rejection was your protection. Because I feel like these were people who you were interested in. With the Page of Cups, you had an offer for them. And they probably saw you as someone who was silly. Someone who was silly, naive. Oh, get out of here. What are you talking about? You know, they didn't take you seriously. But you had great insight, great knowledge, good, great wisdom. You had it, the skills, the talents. You had, you had more than enough credentials, but they didn't see it. That's fine. All the people who rejected you, they're going to try to come back to collaborate with you. And you're going to say no. Oh, my gosh. Page of Cups is a brilliant person. 
very pure hearted but sometimes people people can look down on them and see the page of cups as someone who's naive and silly no this is a brilliant person who's open-minded and and they and they have various interests and they're intrigued but sometimes people will see them as oh you're unrealistic and naive no they're not this is someone who's optimistic this is someone who knows who they are when they have ideas they know that it's possible to bring it to life when they speak they speak with wisdom right but if you're so judgmental you may not see them that way and that's fine because you don't deserve them you have the moon oops one second you guys the moon came out one of the cards fell down everyone's going to be reaching out to you oh they want to talk to you they want to do this they want to do that no the moon card is here clarify the moon the moon is something the moon represents something like secrets or something that's hidden but the thing is, you were hidden in plain sight. They saw you. They interacted with you. You spoke to these people. You wanted to be a part of their life. You extended an offer. You were interested in them. And they dismissed you. Because they didn't have the sight to see your value. God did not bless them with the sight to see your value. Because they didn't deserve you. They didn't have a place or position in your life. They wouldn't have served you well. So God did not give them that sight to see your value right? You were hidden, the moon. You're one of those people where you can literally be there. Like you can be amongst a, a hundred people, thousands of people, millions of people. If God did not bless them with the sight to see your value, some people won't see you. They won't even come up to you. But that's how you know. The people who do see your worth and your value, that's how you know that they, they have a place in your life. You were hidden in plain sight, these people are going to have to review. They're going to be like, wait a second. This is the person who reached out to me. This is the person who was interested in me. The, wait, this person did give me, give me an opportunity to work with them or to be with them, to be their friend, to be their lover, to be their business partner, or, you know, to just be cordial acquaintances. Wait a second. This was, they're going to be reflecting on when the two of you talked, when you were interested in them, when you had an offer for them, they're going to be like, wait, this was this person. Yeah. Yeah, that was you, hidden in plain sight. Only the best of the best can see you. Only the best of the best can know you, can get access to you. And when I say the best of the best, I'm not talking superficially. It's the superficial people who missed out on you. It's the good people, good natured people, good spirited people, right? Kindred spirit. It's the people who are genuine, good morals, good character. Uh, character, good integrity, good principles, good values. Someone of good values can can see another person's value. You you were the star. You were hidden though. The stars on the back of the deck. Hidden in plain sight. <laughs> you were the star. Your star shines brighter than the other stars. These people are like, how did we not see that? because they were materialistic, they were superficial, they were arrogant, ignorant, judgmental. Yeah, because they're not valuable people. Let's be honest, they're not valuable people. Someone, of, someone who is truly valuable can sense another person's value. You guys remember one of my readings I said, someone who has never seen real gold, how are they supposed to differentiate the difference between gold versus something that's just gold plated? right? Real recognizes real. If someone has no, no true, you know, no true value, they're not like, these are people who are fake and you were real, you are real. So they, they weren't able to, to recognize you. Fake recognizes fake. Real recognizes real. That's just the truth. If you know what real gold is, you'll be able to, 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 to differentiate what's real gold versus what's, what's gold plated. Real recognizes real, hidden in plain sight. Just get ready, get ready, because many people, they want to reach out to you, they want to talk to you, they want to collaborate with you. Nope, the death card is here. The death card represents endings, transformations, People are not gonna recognize you. 
what was that? Five of Swords, defeat, a lack of success. Clarify death. The star. You're, you're about to be transformed into the star. So you guys know the story of Joseph, the biblical story of Joseph, um, where Joseph was betrayed by his brothers. And when he made a return, they couldn't even recognize him. They, they like they couldn't <laughs> they couldn't recognize him they betrayed him and they thought that uh, they thought that he would he was never supposed to come back they thought that they had dealt with him he came back they couldn't recognize him he looked so good so much better than them and he literally had to reintroduce himself he had to reintroduce himself for the mighty man that he was. And they were shocked. He transformed into a mighty man. They were shocked. That's the kind of transformation that God is doing in your life, earth signs. You may have been outcasted and rejected and dismissed and made to feel unworthy, made to feel like you didn't belong somewhere, you know, like you didn't have a home. But God took you in as his and marked you, claimed you as his child. He gave you a position in his kingdom. He has anointed you and he calls you his own. You are his star and he is He's shining. He is shining your light this season to the point where your own enemies, your own haters, those who ignored you, overlooked you, they'll be seeing you now because you are the star. The spotlight is on you. All eyes are on you. You're the star. So be ready. Be ready for this transformation because it will happen. I'm going to end the reading here, Earth Signs. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I truly, truly hope that this message resonated. I hope that it gave you a burst of encouragement and motivation. I hope it gave you some good, good clarity, confirmation, and guidance that you were seeking. As always, Please go into prayer and meditation to receive divine guidance, divine clarity, and divine confirmation. And if you enjoyed this reading, please like, comment, and subscribe to support the channel. And if you're interested in connecting with me more, definitely check out the description box. All of my information will be there. Um, you can submit a prayer request, share with me whatever you want me to know. I'll keep you in my prayers. You can make a donation. Um, my website is there. Everything's in the description box. Thank you all so much. Take care. Many blessings to you.